We were just on that mountain not long ago. We were on that holy mountain where the temple of God stood. And before we got kicked off that mountain by the Muslims, we saw something that really is this. It shows you the reality. A dome right in the middle where the temple was. A dome, the dome of the rock. A Muslim site which says on it, there is no God but Allah and he has no son. I mean, talk about defiance. What is that? They don't know what they're doing, but the enemy does. Because the enemy knows that's the place where God will reign from his temple. So God puts these, God is going to do this. The enemy goes there to put obstacles in the way of God's will. And seeks to obstruct it and seeks to defile it. And if you look at that, that dome... And some of you saw this in a message I did a long time ago. You look at that dome, you'll see in the rock formation on the wall, literally, you cannot miss it, distinct image of the devil. Distinct. Satanic. Horns and everything. The enemy is always trying to defile that mount and lay claim to it. And, that's what, and we got... I mean, I should take credit for it. I, I, with the group, got kicked off because I had the audacity to speak about the temple on the Temple Mount. But that shows you how much the enemy is against the purpose of God, against the temples of God. We are the temples of God. Think about how much he's against that there. That's how much he's against you because you're the temple. Because there was a temple of God there. But now that same Bible that says there will be a temple, there was a temple, there will be a temple, says with the same authority, think about this, all the authority where the Bible speaks about the holy temple of God, that same authority, it says now you are the temple of God. Same authority. So all the more, if you let that Zeus in, it'll work to make you empty. It'll work to nullify the calling God has. They'll make to make you desolate, the abomination that makes desolate, that nullifies. It'll rob you of the joy, rob you of the victory, rob you of the presence, rob you of the power, rob you of the joy of walking in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. To take away that light, the idol will take away the bread of the presence in you. The idol will seek to take away the, the worship, the praise of God. So what do you do? What did they do? Listen. Listen to what it says the Maccabees did. Then Judah and his brothers said, Now that our enemies have been crushed, last battle, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and rededicate it. So the whole army assembled and went up to Mount Zion. They found the sanctuary desolate, the altar desecrated, the gates burnt, weeds growing in the courts as in a forest or some mountain. And the priest chambers demolished. They tore their clothes and made a great cry. They sprinkled their heads with ashes, fell on their faces to the ground. And when the signal was given with trumpets, they cried out to heaven. What's the first thing they did when they saw that defiled temple? They grieved. They were they were they were repulsed by it. That that the temple of God could be so desecrated. They mourned about it. In the same way, you have to come to the point. See, if you're okay, see, if you're saying, well, I really don't like this sin, but I just keep doing it, then you're really okay. You're really okay with the sin, because if you really weren't okay with the sin, you wouldn't be able to keep doing it. So you got to get to the point and say, no, I am grieved by this. How could this thing be in the life of the temple of God? You know, it says, David says, I hated, you know, there, there was a holy hate, not, not people, you can't hate people, you got to love people, but hating sin, yes. Hate starting with your own. I hate it. Only when you get to the point where you say, I hate this. It has no business messing up my life, messing up my walk. Think about all the blessings that I haven't known because of this stupid thing, that it's been hindering me. That's the first thing. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, 
Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.